NFL wide receiver Charles Johnson is considered one of the deadliest weapons in the Minnesota Vikings' air assault. In 2014, his first season with the team, he had 31 receptions for 475 yards in just 11 games. CJ was living his dream. But before making it to the NFL, Charles had to overcome his biggest obstacle himself. It was a journey that began when he was a student athlete at Eastern Kentucky University. You know, I was a true freshman. I was very immature. Um, I started just hanging out with friends, wanting to be cool. Thought I was big time or something. I don't know what I thought. Charles grew up in Northern Kentucky. He accepted Christ while attending Young Life Bible Studies in high school. But when he went off to college, he says he shoved his faith in the back seat. I started slipping away a little bit more because I was at school, I wasn't around it anymore. As a result, Charles lost focus on his priorities. He started getting into trouble with the school officials. We just get in trouble for the dumbest things. Like, we got in trouble for taking the couch out of the lobby, putting it in our room. We got in trouble for uh, <laughs> fighting with fire extinguishers in the hallways. He was eventually suspended from the university for two years and had to return home. And on the drive back, he got the wake-up call of his life. It was pouring rain and like, and I'm going about 80 in the fast lane. So once I tap the brake, I start the hydro plan and my tail starts to spin out. I just smash it to the media and when I smash, I look back to see what's coming to hit me as I'm spinning out and two semi zoom, zoom, spin right by me and I just stopped. I drove off to the side, I was crying and stuff. So what changed in your, in your heart, what changed? That could have been the end of me. That could have been the end of Charles Johnson and uh, I need to really figure out, I really needed to tighten up and figure out what I wanted to do. It was too late for him to be added to another school's roster. And his only option was to play at Antelope Valley Community College in California. And trying to make it to the NFL from a junior college can be nearly impossible. I go through that, I'm going to school, playing ball, struggling, eating ramen noodles every day. Charles had a great year with the Martyrs, but things off the field once again derailed his plan. His girlfriend, Kaylin had become pregnant he also received news that his father was ill, and he had no idea how he was going to provide for a child or help his father. So he went to God in prayer. I, was, I prayed and let me find a way. You just, you just give me the call in and I answer. Charles rededicated his life to the Lord. The Lord gave you a call? Yeah, he's like, man, here's what you need to do, man. This football is for you, this is what you gotta go do. I went to another school. I took classes at a local community college just to finish up my, my degree. I was working at Arby's, working at Olive Garden back to back, still trying to stay in shape for football because I knew I wanted to go back. Charles earned a spot at Grand Valley State University, a Division II school in Michigan. And he knows that it was all because of the Lord. All the struggle I had went through to that point, I mean, he continued to give me the strength to endure and to keep moving forward. And one of my favorite scriptures is the Philippians 4.13. I mean, a lot of people use it, but I live by it because I know his strength, he gives me that strength. Charles had a stellar career at Grand Valley State. Though he wasn't invited to the NFL Combine, he impressed scouts at his senior pro day and was selected in the seventh round of the 2013 NFL Draft by the Green Bay Packers. He made his way to Minnesota by way of Cleveland in September of 2014, and it didn't take him long to earn the starting job. I got, got worked in slowly at first. I was getting five plays a game, 10 plays a game, 20 plays, then boom, I'm starting. Today, Charles and Kalen are married with two children, and his father's health has improved. He says if there's one thing he's learned during this journey, it is that all things work together for good when you love God and follow his call. I just think Jesus Christ, like if you're going through something, if nobody else is gonna be there, he gonna be there. I can guarantee you that. He may not respond the way that you want him to sometimes, but he's listening and it's been a long journey, but he's blessed me.